right now, before watching the video, all you know is he's 17 years old, bench pressing 500 pounds. How many think he's natural? And so as a betting man, I'm going with the odds. I'm thinking there's no way this kid could be natural. Coach Reg, in today's video, we're doing a natty or not, and it's on a 17 year old who bench presses, get this, 500 pounds. And what makes this incredibly unique is the fact that he has his complete five year transformation dating back to when he was only 12. And so for five years, we're going to see exactly how he progresses. And so remember, what we're looking for is specific peaks in size and or strength. If he's slowly making gains and suddenly jumps up, we're gonna know he perhaps took some SARMs, trend tests, whatever. And so right now, before watching the video, all you know is he's 17 years old, bench pressing 500 pounds. How many think he's natural? Remember, it was a touch and go, not performed in a powerlifting competition, not drug tested, but it's still 500 pounds. And so as a betting man, I'm going with the odds. I'm thinking there's no way this kid could be natural. And so let us see and find out, is this guy natty? When did he go on? Stay tuned to find out. Go, explode, explode. And so the first thing you need to realize is this kid is training with his father. I don't agree with how they're training. Remember, he's doing a one rep max bench press at 12 years old and the bar is not touching his chest. It's 135 pounds, but he's only 12 years old. And so the first thing I want to point out is this is amazing genetics. Obviously, he's very strong. To bench press 135 pounds at 12, very, very impressive. And although it was horrible lifting technique, I don't think he should be going for maxes. I think he should be doing lighter weights for higher reps. It's still very, very impressive. I'm going to be comparing him to myself. I started lifting at 10. I have a world record in the bench press. I'm very good at the bench press. And so we're going to see, is this kid in fact stronger than Coach Greg? Does he have better genetics than me? Yep. Easy, easy, yeah, yeah! And so the dad is grunting louder than last time. He's 12 years old still. He's bench pressing 155 pounds. This time he's getting all the way down to his chest, but notice there is no pause. In a powerlifting competition, you have to stop the weight on your chest. He's saying, easy, 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 as he's struggling for his life to get the bar up. If there were one more pound on that bar, it was not going up. And so I don't know if it helps to have someone scream in your ear how easy it is when you're fighting for your life to get it off your chest. Perhaps he's thinking, I better get this weight up or my father is not going to be happy. Yep. Easy, easy, yeah! I'm just re-watching it. And so what he should be doing is he should be planting his feet into the ground. The father is spotting. Perhaps he should be giving him some more instructions. Hey, next time, arch your back, stick your chest up, dig your feet into the bench, use some leg drive because as he's pressing up, his feet are wobbling around, moving unbalanced. And so it's certainly not helping his lift. But remember, he's 12 years old. But when you first start lifting weights, you shouldn't be going for one rep maxes. Although it's very impressive, he should be trying to master his technique. And you'll notice throughout the years, as I've already watched this, his technique it continues to get worse. He's bouncing the weight off his chest. It looks like he's going to pop, snap something, crack a rib. And so please, please don't lift like this. It's only a matter of time. It's not if, but when he gets injured. Come on now, go! Yes! Yes! And so absolutely pumped. You can see he's now 13 years of age. He's up to 175 pounds. So far, I believe it's natural. Unless you're going to tell me that he started taking SARMs and or steroids at the age of 12, I really don't think so. At 13 years of age, just so you know, my max bench press was 232 pounds. I weighed 128. I was much smaller than this guy. I think he's around six foot two, perhaps. At his biggest, at 17, he weighs 238 pounds. And so he's a very large young man. Yep, let's go. Yep, yeah! Go! Woo! And so you can see he's clearly bulking. He's increasing his body fat percentage. He's in a calorie surplus. He's only 13. He's going through a growth spurt. He's gaining weight. He's eating a lot of food. And so it makes perfect sense that he's getting stronger than last time. Up next, we see 225 pounds, two plates aside. He's only 13. And pressing up the weight, barely getting it. The leg is beginning to come off the ground. He's still pushing. The father's screaming harder than he's pushing. He's got his hands in the air. Keep pushing, lock it out. Easy weight. 
way. It's nothing but a peanut. So easy, you got this. Remember when Sam Sulik said not every set needs to look like you're fighting for your life? This is what he's talking about. Looks like he's fighting for his life. His feet are getting off the bench. He's struggling. And remember, he's been training for at least a year. He's now 13 years of age. He's at 225 pounds. And so do we really need to push that much weight? Now, I know I'm being a little bit of a hypocrite because when I was 13, I was going for one rep maxes. But I never knew better. This was in the 1980s. YouTube, Facebook, I don't even know if the internet was invented yet. And so we're now up to age of 14 where he's pressing 235 pounds. And so at the age of 13, we're almost even. I was doing 232 pounds in comparison to his 225. Now remember, I started when I was 10. He started when he was 12. And so I had advantage. I started even younger. But you're going to see now that he now leapfrogs in strength past Coach Greg. And so does that mean he can't be natural? I was doing this natural and I have a world record. So does that mean because I couldn't do it that he can't? Of course not. He may just have better genetics than me. After all, he is a lot taller, a lot bigger. And so clearly, obviously, with more mass, more muscle, you can, in fact, push bigger weights. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you can see the legs still moving from 250, 275. The legs are wobbling all over the place. And what's interesting is we don't see any sets. Does he, in fact, only go for one rep maxes? Does he, in fact, do sets of five, sets of 10? Or is he only powerlifting for one rep maxes? But imagine this. He's 14. He's benching 275. That is a lot of weight. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. And 275 for two and a half reps, you can see he's still bulking. He's increasing body fat, he's increasing muscle, increasing strength, and he's in his teenage years. He probably has high levels of testosterone. And so to me, it makes sense. He's consistently been getting stronger from the age of 12 to the age of 14. Although he's very strong, he started very strong. And so if your starting point is 135 pounds at only 12, it makes sense that you perhaps are at 275 pounds at the age of 14. <laughs> Next up, 295 pounds at 15 years of age, and now we can see his foot placement. Do you see how he's on his tiptoes? What you need to do is put blocks. You could put plates on the ground. He could drive his feet into the weight and use a more leg drive. And so the father clearly giving him a helping hand. He cares about his son. He's enjoying this. It's great to see, but he could have better lifting technique, and I'm surprised he hasn't gotten hurt. And I know it's cool to stand back and just say lift the weight and cheer him on knowing he got it, but remember, he could get injured. He could tear peck and so a spotter shouldn't back out and just watch it happen spotter should always be ready to spot in case he's needed spotter your job is not to stand back and cheer him on your job is to ensure his safety what the cook and so perhaps shocks himself he says what the cookbook gets 315 for two reps but notice the bounce much rather see him pause the way to the bottom 315 for one with a pause much better than 315 for two touch and go where you're ego lifting in the gym remember when he does in fact compete in powerlifting of which he's going to do he's going to have to pause the weight and so if you're used to lifting heavier weights bouncing it off your chest in the gym when you get to competition you're not going to be able to lift that weight and so please be more cautious than last time principle of specificity applies make the lift in training as close as possible to what you're going to do in competition And clearly, he's been bulking harder than last time. He's gained a tremendous amount of weight. And with this extra weight, he has less distance for the bar to travel. It's going to help him to lift a lot heavier. It's good to see him using a safety rack in case he can't lift that weight. Remember, he's bouncing it off his chest. If he does, in fact, tear a peck, it's not going to come crushing down on his neck or his face. And so happy to see he's lifting with more safety than last time. Let's go, boy! What? Oh, my God! Oh! And the excitement on this kid, 365, he shocked himself. I can't believe I did it. Holy shit, 365. He's mind blown.
Remember, he's only 15, but look at the size of him at 15. Now, I'm not talking about pure muscle, but in fact, greater levels of body fat. And so it doesn't appear that he's on steroids. Other than the fact that he lifts so much weight, I see no outward signs of the guy using performance enhancing drugs. He's clearly on a bulk. He's gained a lot of weight, likely weighs well over 200 pounds. And so when you consider the math, he's not even lifting double his body weight. Double his body weight is very impressive. I did double my body weight for the first time when I was 17. I weighed 140 some odd pounds, was bench pressing 293. Just over double my body weight. I remember doing this very impressive lift. He's not yet at double his body weight. And remember, if I did it natural, he most certainly can also do it natural. And so 405 for the first time at only 15 years of age. He's benching 405 at 15. But notice, he now has elbow sleeves. Those wraps on the elbows are going to make it easier than last time. It's like wrapping your knees on the squat. As you lower the bar down, it's creating tension. It's pressing the arm up, making it spring up forwards. And so although it's a 405 pound bench press, he wouldn't get that much weight without the wraps on his elbows. And if he had to pause the weight as you do in competition, not even close to this strong. And completely amped up, 435 pounds at 16 years of age, getting better with his foot placement, his technique, he's learning to summon the power all at the same time, doing very well. And now at 17 years of age, 441 pounds, that's 200 kilograms. Now, although it looks like he almost paused away, he did not quite pause and he's sinking into the chest and pressing up. That is called a bounce. It's not legal in powerlifting competition. And so he's still gonna have to work on his lifting technique in order to get these lifts to count in competition. After all, it's one thing to be strong in the gym, it's quite another to do it on the platform. And now at 17 years of age, notice 455 pounds. Notice his feet flat on the floor now. Remember what I said about learning how to lift the weight? He's getting older. He's been training now for five years and his lifting technique has improved tremendously. However, he's still bouncing the weight off his chest. That is ego lifting. The only reason he's doing that is because he can lift more weight when he does it. Why else would he do it? Do you really think that that is just somehow a better lifting technique? And so 475 pounds, but was off the bench the entire time. And so although the weight gets up, it wouldn't count in competition. He's bouncing the weight, his ass is off the bench. This is more ego lifting than last time. Certainly in his mind, he's thinking, I need to press 500 pounds. I'm gonna do anything it takes to get that lift. Hopefully, however, he doesn't resort to performance enhancing drugs, and I still think the guy's natural. You can see that based on his sheer size, he is a very large kid. He's not built like the trend twins. He doesn't have muscle popping out of his body, doesn't have a clearly defined six pack, but he is in fact very, very strong. And so at 17 years of age, he's reached his lifetime goal of bench pressing 500 pounds. And so although he's wearing lifting straps and his butt seems to have come off the bench, it's an incredibly amazing performance. And I certainly hope it's natural. I do believe he's natural. I haven't seen any sudden jumps in strength. It appears to be a constant progression. He's gaining weight. He's going through puberty. He's a teenager. His testosterone levels are higher than last time. And so although his lifts are absolutely mind-blowing, perhaps he's the only kid in the entire world that can do this. I do in fact believe that he's natural. I was really devastated after this, but my friend Albert recommended putting some bands on the bench and going again. And so little did we know that when he first tried the 500 pounds, he didn't get it. But they then decided to put bands on the bench to get him better grip so they wouldn't slide on the bench. All benches are different. Wider benches, you can bench more. You need to use a proper lifting bench to get your PRs. And with the bands on the bench, on his second try in the same day, with 500 pounds, he actually gets the lift. And so from this angle, it does appear as his butt came off the bench. I can't be certain. I'm not looking directly on the side. But remember, this is an impressive gym lift. If he in fact goes to competition, I believe he could get somewhere around 25 pounds less than this, 475 pounds at 17. And I'm told he weighs 238 pounds. He would only have to bench press 476 pounds to get a double body weight bench press. And so clearly he's doing this in the gym. I do believe he could get close 
most of this in competition with a pause. And if he can't do it right now, give him another month or two. I believe he's going to do this. I could honestly see this guy bench pressing 600 pounds by the age of 20. I certainly hope he does not decide to use performance enhancing drugs. He looks to be natural, although he's massive. He doesn't appear to be shredded. Also elite level working genetics. Think of it. He's been maxing out since the age of 12. He's 17. He has a passion for this. He has in fact lifted in actual powerlifting competitions of which they have drug testing. And so I have to tell you, if you're entering drug tested powerlifting competitions and you show continuous progression since you were 12 and you had amazing genetics, I do believe it's possible that he is in fact natural. And so although the lifts is phenomenal, it's hard to believe he's this strong. I believe he's the real deal. I believe he actually did it. We dig it. The war is over. The war is over. 17 years old. And you know what's going to happen after this? In about two days, he's going to think, oh, what's my next goal? On to the next. He's not satisfied with 500. Does anyone out there think that he's done bench pressing? I have achieved my life goal. My life goal was to bench 500 pounds. I am now satisfied. I will retire from bench press. It never happens. It doesn't happen. It's not going to happen. I'm certain that his next goal is to bench press 600 pounds by, I don't know, by what year. He probably has smaller incremental goals. For example, pressing five plates and a 25 on each side, which would be 545 pounds, also 550 pounds. Before that, he's going to go for six plates, 585 pounds. I'm sure he has tons of goals, tons to look forward to. But please don't get tempted by using performance enhancing drugs. Clearly, if he used steroids, if he does 500 natural, within a year, he'd be at six. 600 pounds, but take your time. Take three years. You don't have to rush. You're too young. 17 is not old enough to start taking any performance enhancing drugs. This includes SARMs, peptides, none of that stuff. And at 17 years of age, he shouldn't even be using Coach Greg Harder Than Last Time supplements. Geo2 Max, Turk Builder, you don't need it. You don't even need creatine. So forget about buy-in supplements and so on. Don't use them. You're too young. You don't need them. Wait until you you're older. Now, if you're not a teenager anymore, you're older than last time, perhaps you've hit a plateau, consider getting Geo2 Max or Turk Builder. It can help increase your endurance, build more muscle. Please head over to my website and don't forget to enter code Greg for 15% off. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm, go give this a kid a follow. See how long before he bench presses 600 pounds and encourage him to remain more natural than last time. Watch one of the bloops and of course, don't forget about the cookbooks, the training books, the coaching plans by me and my team, all the books, PDF, hard copy, head over to my website. Also, if you have no money, the free diet and training program, it's almost 50 pages in length. Also become one of the 300,000 plus newsletter subscribers. And until next time, I am out.